Hey friends, Jackie here from Interact and I am back to review another AI platform. So this one is called AnyWord and I will go ahead and share my screen. I just logged into their website for the first time and I'm going to write the same travel blog on top three, what is it called? Top three must have items for every traveler, just so we can continue we can continue comparing the different AI tools, uh, sort of apples to apples, with writing the same, uh, asking it to write the same content, and then seeing what it comes up with. So I'm just going to go ahead and click sign up with Google. And this uh, login experience is a little bit shorter than what I did on Jasper, so I can get started. What's my role? I'm going to put other because honestly, I'm just here to review this tool. Um, it's just me. Well, it's not. Interact is 10 people. Um, how did you hear about us? Okay. Google right here. And these three tools are included with your plan. Start creating amazing content. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and select the blog wizard because I'm going to be writing a blog today. That's what I want to use any word for to see how it works and how I like it compared to the other platforms that I've used, which so far is just ChatGPT or OpenAI um, and then also Jasper. So far, ChatGPT is my favorite, uh, just in terms of the content that I got back from the tool. Uh, and all of the, the platforms that I've been on are on free accounts at this point. So let's see. I do like this is similar to Jasper in that um, it's giving me specific fields that speak to the prompt that I want to give it. So in OpenAI or in ChatGPT, and those are the same two um, softwares, the interface is slightly different. But in both of them, you have to give the AI the prompt that you want to have it come back with. Whereas in Jasper and now here in AnyWord, it does sort of break out what you want to, what you would want to ask it so that it can give you the right content. So if you're new to AI, I do think that is a better feature. If you don't know what to put into the prompt, then try using a tool like AnyWord or Jasper instead of ChatGPT where it's just a blank screen and you have to put the prompt in in order for it to return anything. So I'm just going to pause my recording real quick. I'll add in the same content that I um, put into Jasper through these different fields, and then we'll see what we come up with. Okay, so in the description field in Jasper, I was able to use 800 characters, and in here, in any word, I was only able to use 300. So if you check out the Jasper video, um, or rather the video that I made reviewing Jasper, you'll see the difference in the prompt or like the description, I guess. Yeah, that's what they're calling it, the description of what I want this blog to be about. Essentially, I'm asking it to do the same thing, but in 300 words and not, I think maybe like six or 700 words was the, the other prompt. Um, also in here, I'm able to add in SEO keywords. This is optional, but I would recommend doing some keyword research and adding this in here to optimize for those keywords. So these I just sort of made up. Three must have items for every traveler is the title that I was wanting or thinking that I would call the blog. All of this came from originally chat GPT because I've been putting the same content or like uh, prompts slash asks um, into each of the different AI platforms because I want to see the type of blog or like what happens, right? Like the blog that I get. Um, back from it. And if I do the same thing every time, it's easier to compare what those blogs look like based on the platform that I used. So um, anywho, I kept this pretty simple and then related keywords would be a packing list, what to pack, what to take on a trip. I didn't search any of these keywords to see if they'd be something that I'd easily be able to rank for, but I would recommend doing that and using this section. I think it's really neat that they're helping you to optimize on keywords, uh, especially when that's how blogs can get found and really take off is if you're targeting the right keywords, getting people um, that are searching for these terms uh, and whatnot. So this was kind of cool. Once I hit next from the SEO section, it went to generating engaging titles. I could have written my own, but um, I can do that here. I Let's just see what these are. So three, again, this title here, top three must have items for every traveler was originally the um, title that I wanted to give this blog. But this is saying three must have items for every tra traveler and then listing out what those three items are. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know that I love, I wonder what these... Cool. So this is a score that it's giving based on 
demographic. So maybe people from 18 to 34 and an even mix of male, female are going to read a blog titled something like this. Whereas this one that got a 75 has a little bit less traffic. So here we go. And then this one doesn't look like it has any type of score. So I probably wouldn't go with these options. I don't know why it would recommend these to me if I wanted to use a title based off of the score. So I don't love that. Um, and three must have items for every traveler was what I had originally wanted to go with. So really the only thing that this section did for me was add this extra, a suitcase, a map, and a plan, which let's see if that's what's gonna be included in the blog. I haven't seen this before, um, but I'm assuming that's what the, the three top things that I should travel with are going to be. So let's just go ahead and select this one and then I'll hit next. And here it's going to generate the outline. So I asked, I'm going to scroll back up in the description for it to write a blog titled top three must have items for every traveler. And I asked for it to have an introduction, three main points. So the three things that it would recommend every traveler to travel with, uh, and then a conclusion. And so here it's telling me those three sections are a suitcase, a map, and a plan. Um, let's get more suggestions because I've thought or rather when I compare this to the other blogs that the other blog that Jasper wrote and the other one that ChatGPT wrote on the same topic um, a plan was never an option it was always a physical thing that you would take with you so I hit get more suggestions but it doesn't look like it changed anything let's try one more time but it doesn't look like it's updating anything when I hit get more suggestions. Now, when I use Jasper and when I've used chat GPT or open AI, um, every time you refresh or like re put in the prompt. So in this case, what are the top three things a traveler would want to bring with them? Um, each time I resubmit that ask or that request, I would always get a new output. So this would update and it doesn't seem to be happening here. I'm not sure why. So I don't love that. Now it's going to change these outline sections to an actual paragraph. So this is my introduction here. Uh, and I do like, again, that it gives me a couple options. And I do like, in this case, the score for all of them is relatively high. And they seem to be about the same score. So probably just the way that I'm reading this or the way that it writes it is going to be my preference. So let's just look at the first one. When it comes to planning a successful vacation, there are three must-have items for every traveler. Packing the right suitcase for your trip, understanding the train you'll be exploring, and having a plan of what to do are all essential components of a successful journey. Read on, on to learn more about why these three items are essential. Traveling can be exciting and rewarding. So this is the next prompt that it gave me, or rather, uh, suggestion that it gave me to use an, as an introduction. It's important to make sure you're prepared for the journey ahead, whether you're going on a weekend getaway, a month-long backpacking trip, or you must have things in this blog post. So honestly, the introduction that I got from ChatGPT, from Jasper, and that I'm getting here from AnyWord are essentially saying the same thing. Traveling is exciting, but you don't want to leave without things that you absolutely must have. Um, here are those three things. And then in this blog post, we're going to cover the top essential items and why you would need them. So let's just, I'm just going to go ahead and pick this one because it's scored higher. Hit next. Here's my intro paragraph. And then it says setup is complete. I can continue to the editor. So I'll go ahead and click on continue to editor. You can review and edit the brief at any time. Any word uses the brief to generate your copy variations to get the best results. Make sure that your brief depicts perfect. Got it. Aha. So this filled in the outline for me of the title, the introduction, and these three main points, but it didn't actually write what these main points should be. 
And so in Jasper and in, in chat GPT, I was given 200 words because that's what I asked it to do. I was given a 200 word introduction, but I was also given 200 words to explain why somebody would want to travel with a suitcase, why somebody would want to travel with a map and why somebody would want to travel with a plan. Where in this case, I have to go ahead and write this myself. So let me just make sure um, this was the prompt that I gave. I'm just copying from my other screen the prompt that I gave it, but I don't think I can submit this as a prompt. I think this becomes the paragraph that I would want to write in the blog. Um, yeah, take a point of view, then say a statistic, but I can't like, ah, okay, cool. So actually here, if I click in to a suitcase, here's where I can tell AI what to write about. So I'm going to go with Let's do this. I'm going to keep this as similar to what I put in for the other tools. So take a point of view on why a suitcase is essential for travel, then cite a statistic to back up your point of view and an example to illustrate. So I'm gonna hit generate, and this will generate the paragraph that I will fill in here. So um, in Jasper, it did it all at once for me. In ChatGPT, it did it all at once for me. Or rather, in ChatGPT, I had to ask it to give me an outline. Then I had to ask it to fill in that outline. In Jasper, I just, with one prompt, it gave me everything. In any word, it's asking me to create the outline, and then I have to add in to each of the sections more prompts for it to fill in these spaces. So let's just look here. A suitcase, when it comes to travel, a suitcase is essential. Packing a suitcase full of your belongings for a trip is one of the most important items for every traveler. Make sure you have everything that you need. So here's that statistic, and I appreciate it here because similar to chat GPT, it's giving me an actual statistic, a number, a percentage of travelers that agree packing or using a suitcase uh, is essential for travel or it's important to have for travel. If you're planning on going abroad, it's important to consider what items to take with you. So I might just want to, can I start over? Here we go. So I just clicked on this toggle for the AI instructions. And I guess what I'm getting at or what I would rather this paragraph say is instead of making a list of, of things to pack to put inside of the suitcase, I want to speak more to the suitcase and what type of suitcase you might want to have. So I'm going to go back to the AI instructions and change this a little bit. Take a point of view on why a suitcase is essential for travel. The best type of suitcase case to use, then cite a statistic to back up your point of view and an example. So now if I hit generate and generate, I hope that it speaks more to the type of suitcase that I want rather than just what to put in that suitcase, which isn't necessarily what I think people would be needing. Okay, so traveling can be a thrilling experience. Being prepared is key. A suitcase is a must-have item. So this also looks like it has a Grammarly integration, which I really like um, because I'm not so great at grammar. So please tell me where I am wrong. A suitcase is a must-have item for every traveler. It allows you to easily transport depending on the length of your trip. The type of suitcase you use can vary. So that's cool. Uh, for instance, if you're planning on taking long trips with frequent stops, a rolling suitcase is the best option. This type of suitcase gives you the flexibility to move around with ease. Furthermore, if you are taking a short trip, a backpack may be more suitable as it is much lighter and easier to carry around. So that's more of what I was expecting this paragraph to say. So I like the way that this... Um, is rephrased. And again, I just went into the AI instructions and changed up the prompt a little bit based on what I saw it gave me as the output and what I was hoping it would change to. Uh, no matter what type of suitcase you choose, it's important to consider the weight and size restrictions that are in place. Uh, cool. I'm looking for that statistic. Here it is. According to Statista, luggage was the second most popular item bought online in 2019, showing how essential having a suitcase is when traveling, except... Cool. 
So I, yeah, I like this statistic as well that it quoted where it was coming from. Uh, and it was pretty easy to change out that prompt. I mean, you saw how quickly I did that. But I will have to spend more time in any word going through each section of this outline to have it fill in. I also noticed that I asked it to write me a conclusion and I only got the introduction paragraph. I don't see a conclusion here, although I'm sure I can come in and add one conclusion and then I would have to go ahead and add the prompt in again of what I would want to fill within the conclusion what I would want it to say so I would say if you are somebody who works well off of an outline, use AnyWord to generate this outline for you using specific targeted keywords, and then go ahead and fill in that outline on your own. I think that AnyWord would be a really great use for that, but if you're wanting each section of the outline to also fill in, I would recommend using a tool like Jasper or uh, OpenAI or ChatGPT over AnyWord. And so any other questions or things that you would want me to test out on any word or as it relates to using AI to create content, let me know in the comments below and I'll absolutely check it out. Thanks for watching.